Hi everyone, Carmen and Christy here, First National. We're gonna take you for a good look over this land here at Lardner. We're at 1445 Lardner's Track. Amazing, beautiful property. Let's come and have a look. So we've just come off the road from one of the entrances and this is obviously where the stockyards are, which are back from the house. You've got a nice sort of round yard that you can put them into, comes through. There's also a cattle crush and the race here, which is set back off the road which is uh, safe enough distance to be able to move cattle through. Now this property has had horses on it, sheep, and also beef cattle. It's really rich red soil, really good carrying country, fertile land, and as you can see from this paddock right in front of us, grows grass exceptionally well. Now, where you can see this paddock here, up to those potostrums, there's a property behind there, that's the boundary and it goes behind there to the tall gum trees that you can see. And then it heads off down beside those gum trees and then we'll see that back boundary as we go. So I'll just shut some gates and we'll hop in the car and drive over there. Okay, we've got this central laneway and I will apologise if we need the car but that's the sensors we can get all the paddocks at the front um, and then it goes into the bigger paddocks at the back. Uh, they cut silage and hay off this property. Just to our right here you've got a concrete kettle tank. Now that can be pumped up on the um, creek that you'll see down the bottom here. So there's a, um, a license to go to pump out of the creek so water supply is fantastic. can see the uh, paddock there that's got all the red soil that's been obviously ploughed up. That's the neighbours. So there's little blue gum trees that you can see on, along the fence line. That's the boundary. So you'll see in a moment, we're heading down towards the creek. And we go over the creek and that boundary. So it's a really good size piece of grazing the paddocks. So again, that, red, that paddock with the red soil as well, that's the neighbours. And then it actually wraps around and heads up the hill from there. So we'll have a look uh, when we get to the back paddocks on the side. All the paddocks have got troughs, all in good order. So there's water supply for all your stock. into four wheel drive mode calm. That's exactly <laughs> what we're doing. <laughs> so just while I move this gate you can see here a bit of the infrastructure with the machinery shed. side part of the barn, back of the house, little woodshed here and then a good machinery shed down there. Oh, 
veggie patch all set up in that area. Worked really well with this uh, tank water straight off the back of that machine. Actually, it's called the veggie, veggie patch in there. see these two water troughs and it goes to those big gums so that's the south boundary that follows back to the road so if you come around to the right you'll see you can see the road down there and then we might head down this laneway just to give you a bit of an idea of what it's like down here So just to cut in for Carmen whilst we're waiting. So we're down the bottom of the hill and you can see in the distance the infrastructure where we've just come from, that's back up towards the house. So I assume Carmen, are we near Miniburn Creek? Just off in the distance there where the pumping station was? Yep, that's right. And there you can see the water all running through there in the creek, which is great. So Miniburn Creek runs right through the property. Um, if you were to look it up, it's definitely great to have a nice water supply and from what the owners have told us has a nice range of fish eels bit of in-house uh, fishing if you like as well which is great back to you Tom. <laughs> these, these properties out at Lana don't come up that often um, and you know if you're uh, people that certainly appreciate uh, good land that's productive And given the uh, extended spring that I think we've had and will continue to have, you can see the pastures just so green, definitely well nourished, which is great.
Friends about to join us, come. <laughs> Thought I'd point out showing you inside the car but you can see the laneways it's quite nicely lined on either side with trees so it's yeah they've definitely kept the quality there through the laneways I mean it's just a typical laneway to access the paddocks but it still looks really nice Almost back at the front where we started. 
So in the distance there, you can see all of the trees. Basically, they surround the house block. So there's phenomenal gardens on the house block itself. Um, over 50 varieties of magnolias, a nice little boutique dam as well.